All right, so uh, let's set up this shot, right? So we're going to call Cam at Gibbs Sunday and ask him what's up with his uh, guitar that he sent in for 920D Custom to modify. Right? Yep. So that's the game plan. So let me call him real quick. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. There we go. Hey Cam, it's Jimmy at 920D Custom. How are you doing? I'm good, Jimmy. How's your morning? <clears throat> uh, it's morning is dragging on forever. It's like 3:41 here. Hey, uh, <laughs> I wanted to ask you about this guitar you sent for us to uh, work on. Uh, question number one, man, because I know that that my customers are going to want to know where'd you get that case? <laughs> that case is awesome. Um, so. They're a sweet company that I found on Instagram. They're called Mother Mary Company. And uh, I came across them, just started messaging back and forth. And he sent me that and I just, man, it's my favorite so far. I love that it's the one case in the slew of cases that always stands out no matter what. <laughs> I can uh, I can believe it, man. Uh, everyone here that, that, you know, that works in the building is like, wow, man, where do we get that case? So I've got your guitar in my lap here. It looks like a, uh, Looks like a Fender Jazzmaster. Tell me about it. What is it? A signature model? Yeah, so that was the cool one. Um, I bought it a few years back. Um, it was kind of an interesting scenario in which I was working at a guitar store and um, we had a, a family member pass away, and um, it felt like the best thing that I could do was almost in memoriam of buy this guitar and, and dedicate it to that person. Um, because awesome. that was the way that my wife and I, we expressed ourselves. So uh, we bought that. We felt like it had a ton of personality. It was something that we both really connected with. Um, specifically, it's a Fender Jazzmaster Troy Van Leeuwen signature model. Um, a lot about what stood out was the, the matching headstock, the, the oxblood uh, body, and then it also came with that super dark uh, tortoise pick art. So it was just a really, really mean guitar. I love it, man. I, and you're right, the, the matched headstock caught my attention right off the bat <clears throat> it's yeah. beautiful so um what would you like us to do with it currently have a mastery bridge on there yeah um, basically from straight out of the gate was told this is the best don't waste time with anything else get it so i i did it um so what i'd love is i'd love a mastery vibrato to match it that would just be stellar awesome and uh, i understand we have some uh, lambertones crema jazz master pickups for it as well Curtis, my buddy Lambert Tone sent me those and he sent me some humbuckers straight up to go in a, in a Les Paul or um, in a Gibson of any kind really and um, I didn't have any I just said man I, I would love to put this in something but I don't have anything that's um, stand, standard humbucker size you know but to be honest I really want to put some humbuckers in my Jazzmaster do you have anything that would fit a Jazzmaster pickup and I sent him those the original ones back and he sent me the ones that you're about to put in there so I'm super excited to hear how they sound and, and what they can do. Awesome, Cam. I think I, I have what I need here. Uh, so we're excited about it, man. Um, so I appreciate your time on the phone. I think we've got what we need, and we'll talk to you soon. Awesome. I am super excited and looking forward to it. Thanks so much for your work. Thank you, Cam. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cool. Cool. So we got it. And, uh, yeah, this does fall out. So you have to be careful on that. But... Um, I don't want to talk about this bridge right now, but it is one of the coolest ones I've ever seen. So this is going to be neat. We'll get some parts ordered in. We'll get to work on it. It's going to be nice. It's going to be great. So we'll see if that'll fall out again. <laughs> okay, cut. Carolyn. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Dar. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm better. Certain things are getting a lot better. See? It's hot. Ooh, the world don't want to know me. 
<laughs> yes, we do. Because I barely want to know the world. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a lot more uh, usable range on the vibrato too, on the new one. This bridge is a lot more stable too. I know on the stock Jazzmasters that I've worked on, the bridge you really have to, you know, physically move it into place to get it to intonate. This one is fairly solid in comparison. Hey guys, so we're doing several different things to this Jazzmaster. The first thing is just having a nice clean canvas to work with, of course, just making it look all nice. While the part's off, it's a good chance to get a deep clean going on. That'll just help the guitar. Just won't build up any gunk or anything of that nature. But right now, we're just gonna go ahead and switch from the normal vintage tuners, just normal vintage fender tuners, to these Godo vintage locking tuners. And so basically what it does is there's a there's a thread on the inside and basically there is a flat head and then once you tighten down it'll just put pressure between the screw and the string itself and so uh, it's very good vintage style locking tuners and we keep them stocked but basically it's just uh, take off the set screws drop out the old ones put in the new ones put the set screws back in boom done Boom, there she goes, easy peasy. Doesn't fit, force it. You got them cameras on too, that man. The one that's in front of you? Yeah, not that one, this one. That one. Hmm. All right, Rue, who's better? Led Zeppelin or Rolling Stones? Ooh, that's a tough one, but personally, I'll say Zeppelin. Okay. You like them better? Mm -hmm. To me, I felt like they got like a full stable of musicians. Like every every last one of those musicians are top notch. I feel like this is going to go together. Yeah. Like it uh, should. Roller knobs on the bridge. Those um, need to go uh, first. Yeah, they need to go first before that pick guard goes down, or at least just thrown on there. Yeah. Do you have them? Uh, right here. Here on there. Thank you. I at least just leave them loose and then tighten them up once you get the pick guard on. Good catch. So you're ready for this? Yeah. Okay, those are tight. That's tight. Tight like a tiger. Would you grab a couple of uh, brass sleeves? Yep. How did you get that off there? Did it unscrew or did it pull? It pulled. Okay. Yeah.
So right now we're just installing these Lambertone Cremas in the Jazz Master configuration. Grounding? Yeah, I'm just grounding right now. And any ground will do, huh? Any ground will do, because we connect all our pots together via orange wire. Tricky, yeah, it's tricky with these Jazz Masters, because there's only certain spots especially with this uh, braided wire off these pickups. It's not like I can run one ground wire one way and the hot wire the other. So we just did it off that rhythm circuit right there. Nice and neat. Give enough slack to still adjust some pickups. And nice. Tell you what, Bennett did a killer job on this harness. Benito del Toro, aka Bennett. AKA Bennett. <laughs> I got a what? We're 99.99% we're .99 sure that this is gonna work. Oh, really? Yeah. Because when Bennett builds it, it works. You're doing good. And we got oh, Bennett yeah. building the harness. We got uh, Lamberton pickups. Lambertones pickups. We got we got Rue on the on the uh, assembly. Ricky building the pit guard. Actually making the, the, make, the pit yeah, guard the and, and um, putting the graphic on there. Yeah. Uh, me telling everybody what to do. <laughs> drinking a cold drink. Drink drinking cold drink. Drink drinking cold drink. Oh look. Look. So things are looking kind of good here. All you need is a guitar now, right? Watch this. Boom. Dun, dun, dun. Magic. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so how many holes did we have to drill in this thing to, to get it to work right? None? None. Okay, good. We're good. Somebody cleaned it. Yeah. I did, I did that one. You're going to pick it. So just like most guitars, that ground wire. You got your ground. You got your ground. So I usually just throw it on there. Any pot will do. And flow that solder in until it starts pulling up. Watch that self-retracting uh, solder. It's like one of those uh, vacuum cleaner cords. It'll make it look a little prettier than that. Oh yeah, there we go. It's like magic. And then, flip that bad boy over. Ooh, you can scratch it or nothing. Now, the moment of truth. So, on first appearances here, that pit guard and those pickups and those knobs and that mastery bridge and this neck, this whole package. And that color. is stunning. What do you think? I do say so myself. Where'd this pit guard come from? We made it. It did not exist this morning. Yes. This is ours? That pit guard did not exist this morning. So this thing, these are probably all here. I got you. I you got, got you. You got me a penny? No, I got you a screw a screwing driver mm. though. Here, let's get this finished real good. There. Oh, look at that. I think I got you hooked up or I'm I'm backing up. You that's got this. That's, that's the secret. <laughs> Goes right in. Mm-hmm. I got a uh, wonder. Yeah, I don't, you don't have to tighten them down. They're kind of self tightening, aren't they? Nope. I'll do that right there. Too 
Dad's gonna want him to have him some directions. Dude, bro. The moment of truth. Bennett will want to know, does this work? I hear something. Um, We're good. Box it up. Send it out. Send it out. Balance these tires later. Just want to check everything We're right now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Where's all your gadgets at? You like, you got your gadgets? A little tight, isn't it's it? It's a little tight. Sir. Oh, we're way down there on the other uh, end. It's all right. Oh um, my. Set the action. That's, that's pretty good. It's getting there. Mm -hmm. Back it off just a little bit. Okay, so are you done? I'm done with it. Yeah. You ready to take it to the stage? Check it out. Do that. Everybody wins from Yes. Whoa. Cool. I see we got some stuff for me to run out on. Do my high kicks. Do my David Lee Roth uh, splits off the end of this. And kill myself. Okay, so the Mother Mary strap, right? So here we go, Mother Mary Strap Company. Excellent quality products. Mastery Bridges, made in America. Straps are made in America. Killer Bridges and Vibratos. Ah, what else we put on here? Lambertones, Crema, Jazzmaster Cremas. Killer pickups. We made the pit guard. We made the wiring, 920D Custom. So uh, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a, let's give it a listen. Any powder, some guy liner, somebody on the hey is a hey. I want a beer made out of your same curly hair. It's go time. Okay, a few people have asked me, hey Jimmy, what do you think about this guitar? And uh, y'all know me, I'm an old 80s rocker from way back and I play strats typically. I don't own a Jazzmaster, so um, this one makes me want to go online and buy find a jazz master and buy one and put it together and have one for myself it's that good um you know it plays great it's balanced well it's not too heavy uh everything about it all the parts that came together to make this guitar uh, really came together well and easily uh, from a builder standpoint everything went to went together easily uh, which is important and I don't think we've tuned this thing <laughs> since last night when I was wailing on it. And, you know, it's still dead on. So what more can you ask? This thing's beautiful. 
Everything works together in harmony perfectly. Um, and, you know, it won't, I don't think it'll break the bank once we do the numbers when we haven't done that yet, but it's gonna be a really good guitar for a really good price. And I love it. in doing something similar to this you can contact us 920d custom at 855-655-9203 or you can go to on onto our website and there is a custom order form on the front page of our website click on that fill it out and we'll get back to you as soon as possible and uh, maybe we can build something this great for you too